Greetings, everyone. I am Lotus Prince, and today I will play the scariest game I have ever played in my life. And it's the start of a series, no less. Welcome to Fatal Frame. Well, at least in North America, it's known as Fatal Frame. In Europe and Australia, it's known as Project Zero. And in Japan, it's known as just plain Zero. A reason for this is that a way of pronouncing zero in Japanese, or at least a word that means zero, is rei, R-E-I, but rei can also refer to spirit or ghost. So essentially the game is called Ghost. That would make perfect sense. The Fatal Frame title, however, really makes you think of the Camera Obscura, which I'm going to get more into during gameplay. It's the weapon used to fight ghosts. It's a, it's a camera. So Fatal Frame is a very appropriate title. It reminds me kind of of uh, the Resident Evil series. In North America, it's known as Resident Evil, and in the first game, that mansion really makes you think, yeah, Resident Evil. But in Japan, it's known as Biohazard, because the whole T-Virus thing is just a biohazard outbreak. Think of it kind of like that. So here is known as Fatal Frame, makes you think of the camera instantly, and in other countries, Project Zero or Zero going straight to the ghosts. And boy, are we going to be seeing a lot of those. Well, I don't know. I'm, I'm rambling here because I'm really nervous just to even get the game started. This is going to bring back memories from last year when I first played it. It scared the hell out of me. But, hey, I said I'm going to do it, so I guess I better get started. Without further ado, let's hope that I don't go crazy. Oh boy, here we go. The only time I really have, well, free time to play this game is uh, after 10 p.m. after the rest of my family is uh, not using the room, so I have no choice but to play this at night. Yeah, I have the lights on, but come on. Oh, Tecmo. From football to this. Fatal Frame, based on a true story. I really have no idea what that's supposed to mean. <laughs> Nothing in this story looks like it could be remotely true. Well, let's press start. Album... Well, new game, obviously. Oh god, I'm hesitating. I don't want to do this. But it's so scary and entertaining to watch. Option, what do we have for options? Controls... Oh, this I'll definitely need to look up. R1 is shutter. Triangles turn around. No, triangles menu. And turn around. X is the finder. The shutter. That's important. That's all. Okay. So I view operation parallel move. Square is run. That's going to be my favorite button in the game. X is the shutter button, and R1 is also the shutter button. What's throwing me off is that, uh... Oh, I guess... No, circle's the finder. Oh, okay, circle brings out the camera, basically, and takes you into FPS mode. Triangle is turn around and menu? I don't understand that. I guess it's turn around if you're in the camera. Yeah, if you're in first-person mode, you do a 180. That's actually pretty useful. It's a survival horror game, so you move kind of slowly. Uh, volume, oh god. Volume could stay the way it is. <laughs> I'm not making that any louder. Hell no. Oh man. Here we go. I wonder how long it's been since my brother and I began to see things other people can't see. Get used to that sound. It's more relevant than you think. My big brother. He was so sweet and kind. He was the only one I could open up to about these visions. You like the fuzziness and the crackling, like old film? After our mother died, he was my only family. September 24th, 1986. My birth year! A few months after I was born, this so happens. this is Himuro Mansion. 
Yeah, my one real complaint about this game is the voice acting. It seems pretty off. Oh boy. Fatal for like you'll you'll hear it in the audio logs. It sounds kind of just strange, but otherwise this game is ridiculously scary. My brother was in search of someone. Junsei Takamine, a famous novelist, and a man my brother was very indebted to, disappeared while researching a book. I am very happy they kept the names Japanese and everything like that. It always told me that he got a lead on Mr. Takamine's whereabouts. Oh jeez. I think I'm playing soon. I felt uneasy, like he was going far away. Oh, don't make me play this. Don't make me play this. Himuro. Inuro. This is the Himuro Mansion. Oh, intro. I can't freaking read. I'm an idiot. This is the uh, intro to the game. This area. It looks like Mr. Takamine was doing research into them. I wonder if his group is still here. Here's what I really like. I'm gonna move the right stick. Isn't that cool? I have control over my uh, flashlight arm. Square runs. That's my run. You've got to be freaking kidding me. Ugh. Oh, by the way, being survival horror, uh, I sure hope you don't die, because if you do, I, I hope you saved recently. There's an old camera here. I think I can take a shot. Save point. Sure, why not? Just, just to establish myself. It's going to take a little while because I'm making a completely new save. I actually have perfected this game and I have the data on my other memory card, but it's a freaking gig. It's like an eighth of the card right there, so I'm doing this in a new uh, card. I'll delete this file when I'm completely done with it. Oh yeah, album. Yeah, if I so desire, I can actually save the um, some pictures of ghosts I've taken, although it requires more memory, of course. Oh, this game is ludicrously scary. A box of film. Type 14 film. I think I can use it with my camera. Oh! While holding the camera, press the circle button to go to FPS mode. Take pictures with XR1. Square moves the finder quickly. Extremely important. And triangle turns around. Use the right stick to move while in shooting stance. That is crucial. You can walk while in first person mode. If you wanted to really go nuts. Oh, that's trying to go for the menu. Let me see something. Oh, I start with the camera? Cool. Look around. Hold square. Really look around. Right stick to move. I can look left and right with my, um, or I can look up and down with my left stick and I move with my right. I press X to take a picture, but I do have limited film, so I'm not going to do that. Triangle does a 180. Circle goes back out. If I really wanted to, I could basically play this game as an FPS, except that I can't walk up and down stairs while in first person mode. An angry looking mask on the wall. Oh yeah, I better show you the menu. Map. Resident Evil style map, pretty harmless. Can I zoom? Oh, I zoom with X. The little blue circle is the save point. Look out for those little blue circles because they are your friends. Items. Oh, herbal medicine. When it says a little energy, it's like a third of your health. I have 60 uh, things of film, so I have basically 60 shots for my camera. A save point will restore up to a certain number of my weakest film type. So you're never completely out of ammo if you're by a save point. It's just you have crappy ammo. Photos, of course I have no photos. Files, I have it in uh, scraps. My tutorial thing. Notebook, I got nothing. Photos, I can, I can just find some clue photos. Correlation is brilliant. There's this whole thing. How do I move... 
A mystery novelist who visited him or mentioned disappeared. Oh, I can't move because this is all I know right now. But you get to see this whole gigantic tree that connects everyone together. It's pretty cool. And the camera. I can't do anything with the camera. I guess that'll happen in chapter... Well, this is a prologue chapter, which is why it's in black and white. In, in my official chapter one, I guess, I'll get real control of the, uh, the camera function. And I have no control of the camera, by the way. Like, I'm at the camera's mercy. And, I mean, the game camera, not my camera. This I hate. The way you open the doors, that just begs for something to be on the other side of it. Can't you just see that happening? Ah, and these abrupt angle changes. Lots of ropes. It's a pretty good motif. Silent Hill has wheelchairs, Fatal Frame has ropes, and it does a damn good job with them. Ooh. Rope Hallway Man. Those are of no threat to me. Ghosts like that, they're just good for points and for your album collection. If you complete the album collection, you get something. I hate this mirror. I'm reasonably sure nothing ever happens with it, but I am just waiting for this thing to screw me. It only shows my own reflection. But still, you know something's gonna happen with this mirror, like... <clears throat> That's actually really cool. <laughs> I'm trying to amuse myself while I can, because this game is only going to get miserable and terrifying. Countless eerie handprints. Red handprints. Is it blood? Oh good, I'm playing Elf and Lied now. Or actually, I think it's Elf and Lead. I believe it's German. Another door. Yeah, that's sort of your loading screen. The game looks fluid, but the door openings are kind of loading times, which is a really creative transition. By the way, I'm sorry if I don't run the entire game like I would in Resident Evil or something. I am taking my sweet, cautious time. I'm not going to get screwed over. Even with my caution, I will get screwed over, but I'm trying to be careful. An old suit of armor does not seem to be just for show. I've seen some hard use. Hmm. Oh, and a lot of items are kind of invisible, so I have to just mash the X button when I'm by dressers and things like that. Oof, the music stopped, I got nervous. An old lion mask, other antiques. Collecting was the owner's hobby? Antiques might have been worth something. Nothing special. Whoa! I just felt the rumble. I felt it again. Oh! What's very nice about key ghosts like that is that you automatically aim toward them. I didn't realize this in my first playthrough, so I was fu- I feel a rumble again. It's actually pretty creepy. The controller, like, does a heavy rumble, like, really slowly, like, now, now, like, that's actually pretty unsettling. You can't appreciate this, but it's freaky for me. My light is blue. That means there's like a sort of clue picture. The red light means there's a ghost, be it enemy or just walking around. I have to find out where this clue could be. You see how the light gets brighter as I get closer to my area I want to get a picture of? I just can't quite get a lock on. Oh, it's gone. There. It's got to be in the clock. How could it not be? I just can't get a good shot. What do you want from me, man? I'm trying to get a picture of a freaking ghost. Or a picture of something. Oh, it must be in here. Further, closer, closer. Come on, man, I can't see you. It's gone? Yeah, nothing. There should be like a blue circle when I get close enough. I don't understand. This is like the game's introduction to these kind of things, too. I think there's a guy at the top of the stairs. Give me a second.
Maybe not. Yeah, can't move down the stairs. Now I can move. But come on, there's gotta, be, there's gotta be a ghost in here or something, right? Maybe you have to search the bookshelf first? Do they belong to the man that lived here? The books are not of any real interest. Oh, come on, Fatal Frame. Don't make my first installment boring. I'll just check the wall real quick. If that doesn't do it, then I give up. The other side of the wall. Oops. Closer. Look at... Aha! I found it. Angry man. Ooh. Can I get a good look at that picture? Ugh, it's all distorted. Oh, and you can see the score. 500. I can't do anything with that. That's a camera function. You'll see more of that a little later. I'll check out this poster. An ink scroll drawing. A woman crying, but it's faded. I swear to God, this is my running speed. This is atrocious. I can't examine this. I'll go up the stairs. Okay. Oh, I should look at the clock. It's been stopped for a while. There are cobwebs. Okay. Ooh, a glowy thing. I hope it's not a trap. A cutscene. This notebook. It's Mr. Takamine's. I hear rumbling. Or I feel rumbling. Whoa. This is Elfin Lead. Don't stand alone in a pitch black Japanese mansion. Oh my goodness. Lucy, is that you? That was Mr. Takamine. So he did come here. Uh oh. Careful. Careful. Oh god, there's something in this house. Please don't do like a boo scare on me. Camera obscura. It lets me see things. Wait. Don't freak me out, man. Do not freak me out. Oh, hello. I just saw it. Oh my god. <laughs> There's your hands. Take pictures. Oh god, a twitchy head. That's not what I want. I do not want this. Oh boy. Welcome to hell. Hold the camera with circle. Press the shutter. Yeah, you actually want to hold your focus on the ghosts for a while. So power builds up so you do more damage. So basically you... You get the most bang out of your buck in terms of shots. I could just keep mashing the X button, but then I do like 10 damage per shot, which is just atrocious. So if I really let the shot linger, I could do more damage at once. Also, if I get a ghost as it attacks me, when the circle glows orange, then that would be, I guess, a shutterbug moment, where I not only do a lot of damage, but I also send it like reeling back. And trust me, it's a freaking lifesaver, because even if you do a lot of damage to it, if you don't time it when they're attacking you, they might still not flinch enough and just whack you. So you gotta be really, really careful. Here it goes. See, I'm building up real slow. Wait for it, wait for it, wait. I wonder if it'll attack me. Ah, see, when it goes orange, that, yeah, 120 damage. That's insane. 1,231 points. I love how it says zero shot, even though this game's called Fatal Frame. Kick your ass. And yes, you see this animation every single time you beat a ghost. That little poop thing meant the ghost was defeated. With this camera. This camera has the power to expose things the normal eye can't see. I remember the incident from which I learned of its unique power to capture ghosts. 
See what I mean about the off voice acting? But did you see how the ghost turned into a ball and kind of like went poof? That means that I beat it for now, but it'll be back later. Like ghosts just show up again. Only if you see a different animation, which I will point out to you, is that particular ghost defeated forever. A black padlock. Huh. Um... Do I have a quick map button? I don't think I do. Uh, that way's locked. Oh, I can keep going? There's another stairway down? Oh my god! Ugh. I'm not getting that one. That, that was one of those bonus ghosts. I think I actually had to, like, run my ass back across the top of the floor so I could get a good look at him. Or, like, run over here and look down. A lot of these ghosts, you have to just know they're coming. Because some of them disappear real fast. And they're, like, one-shot enemies, too. Or one-shot ghosts. The real irony of this game is that the enemy ghosts are less scary than those ghosts. Because those ghosts just freaking show up. The enemy ghosts, they'll telegraph themselves. Staircase has been down for a while. Yeah, the enemy ghosts will appear and you'll feel the rumble and hear the heartbeat sound. But, like... They just kind of work their way in. You're scared because they're threatening, but those just passing by ghosts, those are the ones that scare the hell out of me. Endlessly. <sighs> Although they are scripted, so if you've beaten the game a hundred times, then you <laughs> can just see them coming. But I have beaten this game twice. And that was like a year ago again, so I'm gonna, oh, I'm gonna freaking have a heart attack. This is the prologue chapter. This is the harmless chapter. The door to the entrance is open, but I'm sure it was just closed. Yeah, you always close doors behind you. Crap. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Can I get back to the save room, please? I, I really hate that I can't control the camera at all. So he was just looking around. Oh! Okay. This is the part where you keep walking. It's been two weeks since I last heard from my brother. Ugh. But he left a note that led me to this place. Meet me at our special place in Himura Mansion. <laughs> oh I no! Felt as though something was calling me here. And when you're at the epilogue of the game, it turns out the note was blank. It's Silent Hill 2 all over again. Whoa, color. Mafuyu. Uh. The strangling ritual. First night. <laughs> That's the first night. The strangling ritual. No harm will come to us. Ooh. Flashback. What, what is this place? <laughs> I, dude, I just walked in the door. Did someone just... I hate this place. The front door won't open. Yeah, none of this crap about, like... But I was obligated to check the mansion, like internal darkness? No, I can't leave. <laughs> like, I'm actually trapped in here. Which sucks. Sucks, 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 sucks. Herbal medicine. Hey, what do I have on me? Okay, just the one herbal medicine. Photos, and yeah, just what I took earlier in the game. I do that to get rid of the new thing by it so I don't miss anything. Pardon me for my, like, OCD. 
Oh, I got nothing in the notebook. Do I have anything here? Junsei Takamina disappears. Right, 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 right. That's the guy that my brother was looking for. Oh, she can actually run. Okay. I'm seeing if... I'm checking the same items because I want to see if her perspective is any different. So far, it looks like no. Cold air is flowing through a big hole in the floor. Something fell through here? This mansion's a wreck. Ah, I was wondering if I could slip into the, tra in the crack. But at least I could go around. It's kind of cool that I could actually go under that beam. I'm, ch I'm checking for items behind here. Looks like nothing. Now, I know that th this is going to seem really lame to you. But I'm actually going to cut the playthrough here. Mainly because there was an official end to an episode. And it was just a prologue. Believe me. From now on, each installment gets really freaking long. I, I don't mean my Let's Play installments, I mean like, first night, second night, like, it takes a while to get from one to the other. So, while I've only been playing for a little bit, I will stop here really for two reasons. Number one, I don't know when I can next save. Number two, like I just said, there, this is a pretty good official chapter end, chapter beginning point. And number three... I'm already freaking nervous. I don't want to kill myself at a point where I, like, don't even know where I, my next save point is. So, uh, with that said, and much to my relief, we can, uh, cut the playthrough for now. Well, we made a little progress today. Like I said, this was sort of a taste of what's to come. I want you to consider that I fought exactly one enemy, and I found exactly... Well, not exactly, I already lost track, like what, three or four just little ghosts that show up? This is basically like a little tantalizing taste of the game. Here's where you're going to have to run into. A couple of ghosts that show up and freak me the hell out. A couple of little clue ghosts like the angry man. You could just pick them up for extra points. And of course, the enemy ghosts. And here's what combat's going to feel like. This is how we play Fatal Frame. And unfortunately, that was... Uh, you know, the main character's brother playing in the prologue, and she hasn't seen him for two weeks. So, the brother's motivation was to find the uh, the novelist group. Clearly, he's failed that mission. But now you're playing as the sister. Her mission is to find her brother. Unfortunately, she's trapped in the house after about three seconds of entering it. So, maybe this is like Silent Hill 2. Maybe we can't leave until we complete our objective or die trying. <sighs> and I get the feeling we're going to die trying a couple of times. This game is difficult, and this game is freaking scary. So I hope you like my reactions, because you're definitely going to be seeing more of that. Until next time, everyone.